The Burton Overy Novices Hurdle is next. This is a two mile six furlong Novices Hurdle. At the top, we've got Laura of the Jungle, Joshua Sutherland, Substitute David Robertson, Vidima Paul, and Anaya Splash, Darren Thompson, Mini Fortune Time, Leon Van Rensburg, Movie Lights David Hooley, Bomb Theory, Leon Van Rensburg, Billished Armour, and be careful how I say that one, on Vinnie Gerard, Casherel Martellidum, Capably Dangerous Martellidum, Elba, Stu Gray, Mount View Sue, John Morgan, Petroglyph Raven and Rabban Madchin for Padre Gogan and Zena Francis for David Robertson. So, tongue twisters in this one, and oh, here we go. Law of the Jungle. It's got some pretty solid form. It'll be difficult to beat. Is the first one to show from Movie Lights and Substitute in a Rabban Madchin, Casherill, and Zena Francis. It was the back. Billished armour is a black marker. There's movie lights in front and there, but now Laura Jungle's just re establishing that lead. It's a John Morgan horse. Looks like it's coming through to have some interest in that lead as well. They get to the first of the nine, which they all safely over. Capably dangerous is the back marker at this point. Law of the Jungle is in the lead. By two to three lengths from Zena Francis closest to us in second as they get to the second. Which again they all jump nicely. The Darren Thompson pairing out at the back. A nice splash in Ravidma Paul. Law of the Jungle continuing to lead. A line of five or six of them share in second. Elmer also getting a little bit closer. Also, Billy Starmer as they get over the third, which they're all safely over. And now, Mini Fortune Time is having a turn to be tailing Charlie, but it's Laura the Jungle who's in the lead. My back four lengths to Zena Francis and Cashiriel. And Matt View Sue. That's the winning post we go. And for another complete circuit of the Odeby track, and it's Laura the Jungle in the lead. Zena Francis in second, Casherel third, then Matt View Sue and Billy Starmer in substitute. And Rabban Matt Chin is after that one. Movie Lights has just dropped back a little bit. So to his Elbert in Bomb Theory. Vidma Paul the Grey is starting to get a bit closer for Darren Thompson. Capably Dangerous is on the inside. He's going to need a dream split to get through from there. And a nice splash is the new back marker. Law of the Jungle. One with the best form is in the lead and four clear. And they're not going to want to let this one get too far in front either, I wouldn't have thought, as they get over the fourth. Which they're all safer to the other side of. And Law of the Jungle continuing to show four to five clear. Of well, substitute Bomb Theory and Cashrell three in a line there for a second. Then comes Rabban Madchin and Matt View soon. Movie lights on the inside. Zena Francis is. Also in that little group. And Vidma Paula continues to get closer as they get over the fifth. And the lead is down to two lengths now as Bomb Theory takes a hold on second. Aaron Madchen is third. And substitute Casherell next. And then Zena Francis. Mini Fortune Time is making some good ground. So too is Anaya Splash as they get over the sixth. Uh, Laura the Jungle is about to be joined, I think, by Rabban Madchen, who's the first one from out of the pack to play his hand. Uh, Laura the Jungle in front, Rabban Madchen second, then Bomb Theory, then comes Substitute and Zena Francis. Petroglyph Raven is now starting to get into it. Movie Lights is still there. Couple out the back who are probably beaten capably dangerous and Elbert, but it's Laura of the Jungle and Rabban Madchen. They were disputing the lead. There's a two or three length gap then back to Zena Francis and Mini Fortune Time and Bomb Theory, Petroglyph Raven and Substitute. Then after them, Anaya Splash Casherell has dropped tamely out of it as well. But it's Law of the Jungle. It was two lengths clear again of Rabban Mad Chin in second. Substitute is third. Then Bomb Theory, Movie Lights, Petroglyph Raven getting back into it. Zena Francis is still there and now being pushed along again. 
But it's Lord of the Jungle who's going to lead into the third last. Lord of the Jungle lands in front from Rabban Mad Chen in second. Then Bomb Theory substitute his next movie lights. Mini Fortune Time Petroglyph Raven. A nice splash is running on the grey. Vidma Paul is now switching to the outside and coming with a good looking run. They've still got two to get over. And Lord of the Jungle's been in the lead all the way. Here comes Movie Lights to challenge now. Then from Mini Fortune Time and substitute over the second last. And Movie Lights jumps into the lead. It's Movie Lights who's gone on from Lord of the Jungle who's been in the lead all the way and he's trying to fight back it's movie lights who's a length or so clear with just one to jump it's movie lights in the lead from law of the jungle in second vidma paul is still making ground so too is mini fortune time but movie lights over the last in front he's a good two lengths clear of in second place law of the jungle bomb theory is trying to run on but it's not too far to go now inside the final furlong and it's movie lights who's still two lengths clear of law of the jungle in second mini fortune time is in third then bomb theory and vidma paul and they're not going to get to movie lights movie Lights is going to take this one pretty comfortably by a good two lengths from Lord of the Jungle, second, only four times on third, a nice splash, fourth, then Petroglyph, Raven, Man and Mad Chen was after that one, and all the way back to Capably Dangerous, who was the last one to finish. And it's Movie Lights takes it for David Hooley. And there's the card, Movie Lights for David Hooley, the winner. Lord of the Jungle for Joshua Sutherland was. Second, Mini Fortune Time, Leon Van Rensburg third, and Nia Splash, Darren Thompson fourth, and Vidma Paul for, I'm sorry, Petrogriff Raven for Patrick Hogan was fifth.